praise to Jehovah for the new light on resurrection. This will be the first video in a series on the new light on things pertaining to resurrection. We will begin with new light on the supposed new scrolls. The Watchtower has made quite a mess of it when it comes to understanding the end times events and resurrection. They have miscalculated who, when, and where. The governing body's cherry-picked verses do not align with immediate or wider context, and in fact they contradict the simple teaching of Scripture. The Watchtower has greatly complicated a very simple and straightforward truth and has confused many witnesses. As it is written in Revelation 22, 18 through 19, we must be careful not to add to what is written in this final prophecy or take away from it, both of which the Watchtower seems to have done. If anyone adds to them, God will add to him the plagues described in this book. And if anybody takes away from the words of this book of prophecy, God will take away his share in the tree of life and in the holy city that are described in this book. The Watchtower only uses Revelation 20, 11 through 15 when referring to some new scrolls that supposedly give a new set of instruction. If you read the context, the only thing they get right is that this does not involve those who share in the first resurrection. There are no new scrolls with a new set of instructions. Nowhere in scripture is it ever mentioned or implied that there would be new information in the latter days. According to the Watchtower, the scrolls that are opened are the new set of instructions, directions, and orders that will be given out by the judges acting for God to mankind. Thus, all mankind will be informed of the contents of those open scrolls in order to know the standards by which they are to be judged, and what is to be expected of them as to their future conduct and work. Let's see what True Light Revelation 1919 through 2015 can shed on this mixed up teaching and what the real order of events is at this time. Armageddon, which is at the end of the Great Tribulation, is when the Antichrist and False Prophet are thrown into Gehenna, the Lake of Fire. Satan is abyssed 1,000 years, and first resurrection believers reign with Jesus for 1,000 years on the earth. There is a clear progression of events in Revelation 20. Now, as soon as the 1,000 years have ended, Satan will be released from his prison. The devil who was misleading them was then hurled into the lake of fire and sulfur. And I saw a great white throne, and I saw the dead, the great and the small, standing before the throne, and the scrolls were opened. But another scroll was opened. It is the scroll of life. The dead were judged out of those things written in the scrolls according to their deeds. And the sea gave up the dead in it, and death in the grave gave up the dead in them, and they were judged individually according to their deeds. All people who were not resurrected when Jesus returned in the first resurrection are now resurrected to be judged after the thousand years. Yes, contrary to the governing body, the first scrolls are records of what these people have done. That is how they are judged. The second scroll is the scroll of life, or the book of life. This means those whose names are written on this scroll will be granted life and then death and the grave are hurled into the lake of fire, which is the second death, the lake of fire. Furthermore, whoever was not found written in the book of life was hurled into the lake of fire. The white throne judgment is a judgment of what a person has done. It is not based on faith, according to this passage in Revelation. This resurrection is not a time to learn or prove one's allegiance to Jesus. Either your name is on the scroll of life and you get life, or it is not, and you are hurled into the lake of fire. The Watchtower states that how the invisible heavenly judges will communicate the contents of the open scrolls to the earth's inhabitants is not specifically stated to us in the Bible. Of course it is not, because it is not true. But the Watchtower states that there will be direct representatives of the heavenly kingdom of God on the earth. Their presence among mankind will be an official evidence that a new earth has come into existence with its new human society. But Revelation 21, 1 through 2 says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea is no more. I also saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. The new heaven and the new earth come after death has been done away with. Jesus hurls death in the grave into the lake of fire, along with those who were not found in the book of life. Only after that does John see a new heaven and a new earth. 
And this is all after the 1,000 years. There is no 1,000 year judgment day or progressive resurrection. The Watchtower's teaching on new scrolls is simply not biblical. As they say, it is not specifically stated in the Bible.